So let's start with creating a cluster connecting to our data sources. So first, uh, go to your Atlas account, uh, go to your project, and you'll see your cluster uh, here. Once you see your cluster, uh, first thing is uh, load your data uh, sources uh, to connect to uh, uh, to create a charts in the MongoDB charts section. So to do that, uh, click on the three dots here and the load, load sample data set and click on load sample data set. Once this gets loaded successfully, you'll see this sample data set successfully loaded message and it will be available in your collections. And how to uh, how do you make sure that the collections are available? Click on the collections tab here. You'll be able to see all the collections here. Okay, so let's go back to cluster again. So once you've already loaded the uh, the sample data set now, so how do you uh, create a chart or how do you access the charts? There are two ways you can do. One thing is to uh, click on the charts in the uh, toolbar section here, or Click on the collections here and select any one of the collection and visualize your data. So this will open charts.mongodb.com. You can explicitly uh, enter this URL in a browser and access that as well. So <clears throat> you, you are in a chart section right now. So uh, let's go back again and uh, try with the another option I'm of sorry. going to charts. Yeah. Um, the Neoc. Um, I am in MongoDB. Um, what I I'm in my collections. How do I get back to the? Do I use View? How do I get back to? Um... Yeah. We'll, I'll, uh, so uh, we'll finish up this and. Okay. Uh, you share your screen and I'll guide you how to do that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So uh, we did uploaded our sample data set and then uh, we opened our charts uh, section. So we connected our data source. So right now, uh, we'll another way of doing is click on the chart section here in the navigation bar. And once the charts section is open, you can see that there are a couple of dashboards already created. So if you have not uh, created any dashboard or this is the first time you're accessing the chart section, you will need to uh, you'll need to click on activate charts for, for just for this is for the first time. So when you click on the uh, activate charts, it will open up the uh, it will open up the uh, dashboard for you and it will give you an option to use a sample data set uh, sample uh, chart. Or, or you can create your own dashboard. So once you activate your uh, chart, the next thing is to connect your data and explore with the sample data sets. So what we'll do is, uh, so, so as I said, it will create a, uh, two dashboards. One is a sample dashboard and one is a dashboard with your name uh, prefixed to it. So let's just, just just review what are the charts available and then see how chart looks in the Atlas uh, UI here. So go, let's go to a sample dashboard. And it, it gives a quite a bit of charts to review. And this, uh, this is created based on the movie's data source. So you can see that uh, there are a couple of uh, Charts are uh, created here. You can see that there is a pie chart, line chart, and a geospatial chart, bar chart. So you can see that the number of movies made in English and number of movies made in French. So this is more or less similar to the uh, SQL uh, EDA, what we did, exploratory data analysis, like creating the charts and showing that, uh, showing the analysis, data analysis on that using the Charts, right? The so similar way we are doing uh, here in the Atlas cluster. So this is a sample uh, charts available here. You can go ahead and explore all each of the charts. You can say click on edit and then explore charts also. Uh, but let's uh, create a, uh, create our own chart to uh, explore how we can create how to connect to our data source. All those. Things. So. 
before that, uh, let me explain the options available here. Uh, so this is a dashboard. It will show you the number of dashboards you have you have here in the uh, charts section, and the data source. The data source is already connected to your charts. So if you want to add a different data source, you can see that sample data movies. This is already added because we are using the sample dashboard, which is which connected to a movies data source. So you you can also add a different data source which you want to explore using your charts. You can say add data source. I'm sorry, I have uh, a question here. You already, if I look at your data sources, you're repeating the same data source several times. Oh, I, I, I have a same data source with a different name. So see, uh, this is the so, movie data So in source. essence, what I'm seeing here, what we're seeing here is views. In essence, each view is attached to whatever data source it's associated with. Yeah, these are all the collections. So video is a data source. Okay, thank you. So let's... Uh, so uh, how we can add a different data source. So click on add data source and connect your cluster here and select your cluster and click next and it will connect your source. Uh, this may take some time, but it will uh, connect and give you back the collections you have created in your cluster. And you can see that these many are the, these many clusters, uh, sorry, data sources you have in your cluster. So already have a video uh, and already have an Airbnb. So if I want to load a different uh, data source, I can select the particular data source and then say finish. And uh, the particular data source will get uploaded. You can say the sample analytics, accounts, customer, all these collections are uh, uploaded now. And, and Let's go back to dashboards now here. So in the dashboards, uh, so as I told in the beginning, it will create a two dashboards, one is sample and one with prefixing your name. So uh, you can create a different dashboard altogether from the scratch. You can say import dashboard if you have, or you can say add dashboard and then give a name and say create. It will create an empty dashboard, a dashboard for you. And let's for the just to see whether the dashboard is available in the dashboard section. See the demo dashboard is available, but but it is empty. So let's create a chart. So how do you create a chart in a dashboard? Uh, so say click on a add chart here, and you can see that uh, the other uh, you will see a uh, different. Uh, dashboard different home page or altogether comes up so you can select a data source you want to explore and you can select a chart type and you can type a query here if you want to pre-process your data so first let's connect to a sample data source uh, so we'll be connecting to a sample airbnb listing and reviews and it will take some time to load the fields and once it gets loaded, you can see all the fields available in that particular data source. And in the chart type, select your uh, chart you want to uh, do a data analysis with. I'm gonna select a text chart. And so once you select that, uh, so you can start uh, analyzing the data. This is so simple here, right? You don't need to write a query or I think just drag and drop the fields available to the groups, values and dynamic value columns, and it will uh, give, give analysis on the, depending on the fields you drag and drop here. So what we're gonna do is, for, uh, for example, uh, for just for the demo purpose, we'll be creating a text chart to compare the prices of Airbnb based on the review. So this is already example chart is there in the video section of our canvas. I'm just gonna show you uh, from the demo purpose. So to do that, to do that, uh, so we're gonna select the property type, and we're gonna select the address suburb. 
and in the value section we're going to select price and review score review score rating and uh, to aggregate we'll use a mean we you know we we'll set average uh, uh, review for that particular airbnb and an average price for that so you can see that as soon as you drag and drop and then select the aggregate uh, functions here you can see that <clears throat> the particular airbnb is and the mean and the uh, mean review and the mean price for that but you can also see that there are a few null values uh, there in the fields so as as i told before you can uh, write a query here to pre-process your data right so you can remove null value and put some meaningful values there so to do that you can write a query here we can get the query from the canvas uh, page. So uh, go to V8 Lecture Introduction to MongoDB Charts, and down here, uh, creating a chart, text chart. You'll see the query given to you. You can just copy that query, go back here, and paste it in the query field here, and click on Apply. So you can see that the null values are uh, not there right now. So in that, in this way, you can uh, pre-process your data. So what if I want to uh, rename the columns? So to do that, you can go to customize fields and select the field you want to uh, modify or update. I'm going to say a property type, and I'm going to or the label to type of property. And you can see that it, uh, you can see that the, it renamed type of property. And also you can see that mean average price, uh, you can see that it's all, it's all just the numbers. You don't know uh, what the number formatting is, whether it's a dollar, rupees, or euros. So to do that, what you can do is go to fields again, select the mean price and and select the number formatting here. So it, it's set to default now. It, I mean, it, it, it doesn't show anything. You can select that to dollars. And you can see that mean price is uh, showing in a dollars. And after that, so I'm going to say mean. This, this doesn't look nice, right? Mean open bracket price and close bracket. So I'm going to override that and say, average price average price so in this way you can customize your fields and uh, create a chart so you can just drag and dropping you can select a different type of charts here and there are other uh, op customized options available and you can also say this is listing uh, all the available uh, data. So I just want to limit to personal some number of data. So I can go to encode and then say limit results. I'm going to say limit to 20. So it's going to limit your result to a 20, a 20 uh, records. So what if I want to uh, say uh, list the average, uh, list, list all the Airbnbs on an ascending or descending order? So what you can do is just click on the column here. You can say it will arrange depending. It will see now it's in increasing order, increasing order and decreasing order. Yeah. So once you create a chart, uh, and how do you save this? So you can say, sell, uh, you can name it name. You can uh, give a name for this chart. Say top 20 priciest Airbnb. And then, so you name your chart now. So you want to create a different chart, right? So you don't want to worry. So you can just save and close this and then add a ch different chart again from here. So uh, to 
just to uh, recap so we logged into our, we logged into our atlas cluster and we loaded a sample data set and we looked up into the collections available after loading the sample data set and to access the charts there are two three ways we can do that uh, click on the visualize your data or go to charts in the navigation bar or uh, just click on the charts.mongodb.com right uh, let's click on the visualize your data and once you click on that you'll be able to see your dashboard 